Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secret, drama and news. So today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about the rumoured cast for the upcoming Drag Race UK Season 4. And just to make it clear, this will not contain any spoilers or anything. I haven't looked up anything about the actual season or anything like that. This is literally just a rumoured cast list for Season 4 of Drag Race UK. Drag Race UK Season 4 was officially announced by BBC3 via an Instagram post in October 2021, and the deadline for auditions was stated as being in November of 2021. And although no official details have been released about the season, it's rumoured that filming started in February of 2022. So here is a list of rumoured contestants based on absences from social media and a lack of live gigs. Please make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for my future videos. Baby Baby is a London-based artist who currently has just over 9,000 followers on Instagram. From her Instagram posts, Baby appears to be a keen dancer and several of her posts show her practicing choreography for a dance show. Many of her original posts from 2017 show that she was not necessarily in full drag and her style seems to have developed over time. In fact, in a post from July 2018, she said that she was, quote, trying hard to get better at makeup. So from this, it would imply as though she was still relatively new to drag at the time. Her style seems to be very colourful, with lots of bodysuits, presumably because she's a dancing queen. And Baby also seems to be a fierce lip syncer, and she posted in 2017 that she won the Lip Sync For Your Life at the Powder Room Bar, which was supported by Alyssa Edwards. Black Pepper Black Pepper is a Birmingham-based artist who currently has just under 26,000 followers on Instagram. According to their Instagram, they use they slash them pronouns. They describe themselves on Instagram as, quote, the Caribbean Empress, and they have the flags of St. Martin and Jamaica in their bio, which are both Caribbean countries. From their Instagram posts, they appear to wear lots of PVC and have very conceptual looks. In an interview, Black Pepper talked about their style of drag and described it as, quote, my version of what the future of drag is supposed to be. They then went on to say, I'm a very conceptual artist, not just as a drag queen. And they are also um, England's Euro Drag winner. Euro Drag is a drag contest held in over 15 countries at 30 venues. It also appears as though Pepper is a skilled designer, and in the interview it states that they spend hours making outfits and use materials such as recycled chicken wire and damaged household goods. Cheddar Gorgeous Cheddar Gorgeous is a Manchester-based artist who currently has 113,000 followers on Instagram. Her name is a play on Cheddar Gorge, which is a famous limestone gorge in the southwest of England, just outside the village of Cheddar, which is where cheddar cheese originates from. In her Instagram bio, she describes herself as, quote, alien, idealist, and cultural icon. She is part of one of the country's most famous drag collectives, which is The Family Gorgeous. Cheddar Gorgeous is a pretty well-known drag queen in the UK and has appeared on several TV shows, such as Drag SOS, which is a drag makeover show that features all members of her drag house. In an interview, Cheddar once described her drag style as, quote, a series of well-placed mistakes. In another interview, Cheddar was asked about her drag style and said, quote, uh, For me, drag has never been about being able to channel a particular feminine energy. My drag has never really been too feminine. I started out by doing campy female sort of drag, but very quickly moved on to stuff that was a lot more gender fluid, a lot more androgynous, and sometimes even actually turning masculine stereotypes into something fabulous. Cheddar also describes herself as a, quote, very sensible unicorn, and many of her looks include a unicorn theme. Copper Top 
Copper Top is a London-based artist who currently has just under 3,500 followers on Instagram. Her name is clearly a reference to the term Copper Top, which is a slang term for someone with ginger slash red hair. It appears as though she is an actress and appeared as Frida Balls in a commercial for British bingo and casino website Gala Bingo. And she is also signed to Mary Liz Management. In an interview, Copper said that her name was, quote, one of many nicknames given to me by bullies for being ginger and queer. When asked about her drag style, Copper said, quote, I like to describe my drag as a dirty weekend. It's camper than a seaside pier show, and I will promise sex to an audience member by the end. Copper also said that she had always been interested in drag and had, quote, dabbled for friends' birthdays, etc. But it was only after she had a medical scare and an operation that it gave her a new lease for life, and that's when Copper Top was born. Based on her Instagram photos, Copper is evidently a comedy camp queen, and she says that she loves 90s pop and singing live. Dakota Schiffer Dakota Schiffer is a London-based artist who currently has 14,000 followers on Instagram. In her Instagram, she describes herself as a, quote, drag queen and a, quote, trans femme and uses she slash they pronouns. I couldn't find a definitive answer of the origins of her drag name, but I would assume that the Schiffer part refers to German supermodel Claudia Schiffer. Dakota has a GoFundMe page to pay for, quote, gender affirming surgeries. And on the page, Dakota says that she suffers from gender dysphoria. And in fact, UK season three contestant Victoria Scon also mentioned Dakota's GoFundMe in one of her Instagram posts in May 2021. And Victoria said that her makeup in the post was inspired by Dakota. Based on Dakota's Instagram, her style appears to be very feminine and polished with a slight vintage flair in some of her looks. She also posts makeup tutorials Tutorials, and it appears as though the colour mint green is a signature look of hers. Danny Beard Danny Beard is a Manchester based artist who currently has just under 30,000 followers on Instagram. On their Instagram page, Danny says they use they slash them pronouns and describes themselves as a quote shady singing cartoon clown. As you may guess from their name, Danny is a bearded queen and their beard is often a focal point of their aesthetic. Danny actually appeared on the TV show Britain's Got Talent in 2016 and actually reached the semi finals of the show. Danny is also the co host of a podcast called The Gossip Gaze, which is a comedy podcast where they discuss current affairs and other LGBT topics. In an interview from 2020, Danny was asked if they would ever appear on a UK version of Drag Race, and Danny said, quote, I think there is more chance of the US show inviting UK queens on than a UK drag race, but that's just my opinion. In answer to your question, however, yes, I would. I would love to have the opportunity to show my drag on that level. I mean, I'd need to step my pussy up, but I'm not afraid of a challenge. Jumbers Blonde Jumbers Blonde is a Northern Irish but now London-based artist who currently has just over 5,500 followers on Instagram. Her Instagram bio says that she is a DJ slash performer slash producer. On her website, it says that Jumbers is a quote, fash mag slag and a quote, asshole in a wig who has been performing, DJing and producing shows for over 10 years in London. As her name would suggest, Jumba's signature hair colour is blonde and she appears to have a colourful and fun aesthetic. It also looks like Jumba's may be a designer, as she posted a photo of Le Phil, who we'll come to later in this list, wearing an outfit that Jumba's created. Just May Just May is a London-based artist who currently has just over 5,000 followers on Instagram. According to her Instagram bio, she uses she slash they slash he pronouns. On Instagram, Just May describes herself as, quote, the world's premier Jerry Halliwell impersonator 
and you can see in many of her photos that she is dressed like Jerry Halliwell from the Spice Girls. According to her website, Just May has over eight years of experience working in the world of drag and entertainment. In an interview, Just May said that she started doing drag as part of her degree in fine art, and she also said, quote, I don't think I set out to be a full-time drag queen, but I think it happened naturally and I completely love it. When asked about the origins of her drag name, she said, quote, My drag name literally came from my real name. My surname is May, which was just my drag name to begin with. I entered a competition and they asked my name as I was going on the stage, to which I said, May, just May. And there it was. Looking at her Instagram photos, it would appear that Just May's style is very campy, with colourful and uh, her signature look is ginger hair in the style of Jerry Halliwell. Le Phil. Le Phil is a London-based artist who currently has just over 5,500 followers on Instagram. Le Phil's pronouns are he slash him slash they according to his Instagram bio. According to his website, Le Phil is a quote, Huddersfield-born, British-Chinese multidisciplinary pop singer-songwriter emerging from the London underground queer scene into the global pop spotlight. Le Phil goes on to say that he, quote, fuses together many artistic disciplines to create highly personal work that often explores new ways of seeing and representing gender, sexuality and identity. Le Phil has released several songs and describes himself more as a singer-songwriter rather than a drag queen. In an interview, Le Phil said that his music is strongly based on his sexuality and he also went on to say, quote, You never see a covered up female rapper dancing around a sexualized, scantily clad, gyrating male singer in a nude illusion bodysuit. I want to be that. Let's challenge the rules a little. Looking at Le Phil's Instagram photos, their style is quite androgynous and features fairly classic colour combinations. Pixie Polite Pixie Polite is a London-based artist with just over 11,000 followers on Instagram. According to her Instagram bio, Pixie uses she slash her pronouns and describes herself as, quote, the campest cow in all the land. Pixie is part of The Vixen UK, which is a three-person drag girl band that won Best Cabaret Act 2019. The band is made up of Pixie Polite, Woe Adams and Tia Coffee. And you may recognise Tia Coffee from season two of Drag Race UK. In an interview, Pixie said that her drag persona is just, quote, an amped up version of myself and that she has, quote, always been repping for the curvy girls. In an interview, Pixie describes herself primarily as a singer and says that she does more traditional cabaret, which means, quote, I'm put on a stage for an hour to sing the hits and tell a few jokes. Looking at Pixie's Instagram photos, her style is definitely campy and features a lot of bright colours and bold patterns. Sminty Drop Sminty Drop is a Manchester-based artist and currently has almost 40,000 followers on Instagram. According to her Instagram bio, she uses she slash they pronouns and is part of the House of Kendall. You may recognise the name Kendall from Gothy Kendall, who appeared on Drag Race UK Season 1. On her Instagram, she lists another Instagram account under the name Callum Shaw, which is Sminty's given name. This account shows photos of Callum, mostly out of drag, and he appears to be a model signed with Array Model Management. Her aesthetic is very club kid and conceptual, and on her Twitter bio, she describes herself as, quote, just pure, unfiltered chaos. Starlet. Starlet is a South African artist now based in London, who currently has just over 47,000 followers on Instagram. Her Instagram bio says she uses she slash her pronouns, and she describes herself as, quote, the princess of glamour. I couldn't find much information about Starlet, which surprised me given that she has the second highest number of Instagram followers on this list. So I just had to go off what I could see on her Instagram. Her aesthetic appears to be very polished and glamorous with an element of showgirl realness. And she also seems to have very impressive makeup skills and all of her photography looks very professional and polished. 
So there you go, there was a list of rumoured contestants for Drag Race UK Season 4. We'll have to wait for the official announcement to see how accurate this list was. Were you familiar with any of these artists before? And which of these are you most intrigued to see on Drag Race? Comment below. As usual, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you liked this video. Currently less than 7% of people watching are actually subscribed to my channel, which makes me so sad, so please, please just subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified for my future videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me again in the future. Thank you, bye!